Hello again, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how we can create a button using HTML and a little CSS. To create a button, we need a pair of button tags. And here's our button. It's really small and it doesn't do anything. Let's add some text. Between the button tags, let's add some text like click me. So here's our button, but it's fairly small. We can change the size of this button by changing the font size. We will need to access the style attribute, then set the font size property to a larger font size. So font dash size, 25 pixels is good. The size of our button will adjust accordingly. Let's change the background color. Separate each of these CSS properties with a semicolon. Let's change the background dash color to be gray. So that's how to change the background color. To change the font color, type color, colon, then some color, like light blue. You can round the corners by setting a border radius. So that's another CSS property. Border dash radius, colon. Let's begin with five. That will round the corner slightly. You can increase the amount of pixels for a more rounded border. Let's try 25. That's not too bad. So this button currently doesn't do anything. What I'm going to do is turn this button into a hyperlink. When we click on the button, it will take us to maybe Google. We need to surround our button with a pair of A tags. I will set the href attribute equal to some URL, like Google. So when I click on the button, it takes me to Google. Or if we had another HTML file, we can go there too. I'll create a new HTML file named maybe page2, two, page2.html. Two Let's generate some HTML. In VS Code to do that, type an exclamation point, then tab. All I'm going to add to page2 is an h1 header tag with the title of this is page number 2. I'll set the href attribute to be the name of that HTML file, page2.html. Page2.html. When I click on the button, it brings me to my second page. I haven't discussed JavaScript yet, but we can have a button execute some JavaScript code. This part of the lesson is outside the scope of what I would normally teach at this point in time, but if you're interested, here's a little bit of JavaScript. Again, it's not necessary to learn this at this level. If you would like to execute some JavaScript code using a button, we need a pair of script tags for JavaScript. Within this pair of script tags, I'm going to define a function. Function, you can come up with some function name. This function will do something. Then you need a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. Buttons have an on click attribute. We can have the button do something if it's interacted with. The onClick attribute is going to be the name of my function, do something. When we click on the button, execute this function. What do we want to do? I'll change some text on the screen, but we'll need some sample text to work with. I'll create a pair of paragraph tags. Let's say hello. Within our JavaScript function, we'll change the text of whatever's between these two paragraph tags. But we need an ID. There's an ID attribute. I'll name this text maybe greeting. So when we click on this function, I would like to change the text of my greeting. Within the function, we can do that with document.getElement by ID. Within the set of parentheses, the ID is greeting. Follow this with dot inner HTML. Then we can set this equal to some new value. Let's set the new value to be goodbye. Now when I click on the button, it changes our text. So that's a button everybody. You need a pair of button tags. You can apply some CSS styling. I haven't really discussed CSS yet. So we did inline CSS. But if you have these many properties, I would recommend a style sheet.
which we'll cover later. To make your button bigger, you can change the font size. You could have your button bring you to another HTML page, or even execute some JavaScript code. And well everybody, that's how to create a button using HTML.